freezing cold outside today. Um, yesterday we had minus 25 degrees, today it's only minus 20 and um, yeah, today we are going on a little ski trip which will actually be my second time on skis so we will see how that goes um, but it's just so beautiful outside when it's so cold like everything everything is just beautiful First of all, I wanted to wish you a happy new year and I hope that you had a great start into 2021. We had a really simple but wonderful New Year's Eve here in the house. We even got to see some fireworks on the other side of the valley, which was really beautiful. This is the first video of the new year. I wanted to talk with you about something that has been on my heart for quite some time now and that is that we have a dream for this year and we actually already have been working on this dream the whole last year but the whole time I didn't want to talk about it because yeah everything is still so uncertain and still so far away until I realized why it has to be certain um, can't I just talk about it anyway so let's get you into the boat I think that is a German saying but maybe you understand what I mean <laughs> I think I have to begin with a little backstory first so since I was a little girl I really was into horses and as for many girls this interest disappears at a certain age I still spent most of my time in the stables. It was yeah, really like a peace place for me where I felt like I could fully be myself and I just love to be surrounded by these beautiful and powerful creatures. And during the years I learned more and more of their language and to communicate with them in a natural way. And with one horse in particular, I developed a very deep friendship and he became a really important part of my life and a for me very difficult time.
But as he wasn't my own horse, at some point I had to let him go again, which was really painful for me. But still, horses kept to be a really important part of my life and I always dreamt about living together with my own horses one day. And I then moved to Norway on the horse farm from my wonderful friend Tina. Um, which already came really close to what I was dreaming about. But still it was her place and it were her horses and I just never dared to lose my heart on a horse like that again just so that it can be taken away from me again. So I let go of this dream again. Having animals and especially horses is a huge commitment and I thought maybe that is more something for a uh, yeah, later period in my life and I will just yeah, uh, use this time for traveling and enjoying my freedom. This was in 2018 and 2019 and though I did a lot of really fun stuff in these years like converting a camper van, traveling around, um, working on exciting projects, I actually still was in a really bad mental state. I still had periods where I felt really depressed and then suddenly I felt like close to burnout again and I was just completely stressed. In the same summer I then got together with Joachim and as he was in quite a difficult time of his life as well we decided to look out for a house where we could spend the winter to yeah, just let everything calm down a little bit and I think from then on you probably know the story. Um, we found this house here and we decided uh, to stay a little longer because it was just yeah, so beautiful here and it was seriously the best decision ever. But all the time until today I miss being around horses so so much. It's yeah it really feels like a big hole in my life almost like a part of myself is missing and I realized that I would probably never manage to let go of this dream to live together with my own horses and um, while Joachim and I were sitting here in front of the fireplace talking about our dreams or what we would like to experience in this life we actually realized for the first time that we actually share the exact same dream. We dream about having a little farm somewhere here in the Norwegian nature with horses for me and a big garden for Joachim. Um, our very own peace place that is just filled with our own energy where we can create our art and live with the seasons alongside nature and yeah just a place to come to come back to after being out in the world and a place that can grow and yeah just just a real home and um, last spring in 2020 I slowly felt my energy coming back to me again and I started to get ideas and um, just to make that clear Joachim was still studying and I was self-employed with a good but really unsteady income so not really the best circumstances to think about a project like this but I always believe that you just have to start somewhere and not wait until maybe one day the circumstances are right and as it also doesn't hurt to just dream I started to look out for farms on the internet we have a really clear idea of what we want we don't have any time pressure and we intend to stay there maybe forever so it really has to be the place and none of the farms that I could find online really suited our ideas. And now is the point where everything is starting to get a little bit weird but you know I can be really stubborn when I have an idea and 
You maybe know from my previous videos that we really fell in love with Röros, a sweet little town in the east of Norway and our dream is actually to find something in this area and you maybe also know that last summer we traveled a lot in this area um, on one hand of course for vacation but on the other hand because we were looking for farms that you maybe don't find online and we actually found one it is so beautiful you can't even imagine but that is still where we are right now it is still a dream that is very far away um, we decided to go home first to focus on the online shop so that we can start saving money and um, it's really funny and weird to talk about this because we don't even know if the owner wants to sell this farm but even if we don't get it which will of course probably be the case um, right now just the vision of this beautiful farm just helps me so much to stay focused and yeah to to keep working for it and i think it's so important that you have a really concrete vision that you work for and I'm definitely willing to give everything I can and if it then isn't meant to be our farm then we will just keep searching until the right one appears. So you see I'm really ready to move on and I'm really excited to see what this year will bring us. I think we all know that life is often surprising us so we will see where this all will go, but it's definitely something that we're heading for on the long run. And yeah, I think it's really nice uh, that you also know um, what we are dreaming about and where all this year might be someday. So I just wanted to say thank you because we are 100,000 people on this channel here right now which is just such a crazy number and yeah I just wanted to thank every single one of you who is here right now and supporting me by watching this video and I also thought if I should maybe do something special for this occasion but I actually didn't really have an idea so I wanted to ask you if there would be something that you would maybe like to see on this channel or some topic that you're interested in or yeah just something that you always wanted to know so yeah I'm really excited to hear about that. Oh yeah I wanted to say thank you as well it's really great to have all of the support and it's been quite overwhelming. We opened the shop in October and the response has just been really great and I'm so thankful that I can now actually live off my art and my painting and that's thanks to you guys. So I just wanted to express my gratitude and yeah, thank you. 100 Schwierigste ist, während du redest. Warum? 
Ach so. Das will ich dann tun. Hm. <lacht> Great. So, thank you. Ivy. Thank <laughs> you.